Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix any lagging issues inside of Roblox. So the first thing we're going to do is head over to the start menu and you need to search for settings and head over to the settings window. From the left hand side, we need to come down to gaming and from here, come down to game mode and make sure this is turned on and enabled. And then we're going to head over to network and internet from the left hand side, come inside of VPN. And if you're connected to a VPN, I'd recommend disconnecting to it now, then back over to the the left hand side we need to come down to system inside of display and right at the bottom you'll have this tab for graphics now what you need to do is you need to add roblox player to this list of applications you can see i already have roblox added here and once we've added roblox you just need to come in and select options and make sure this is set to high performance and hit save if you don't have roblox inside of this list of applications just come up to the top here and select browse and then you'll need to locate the roblox player you can just use the search feature at the top here if you're using the microsoft store version of roblox then unfortunately this step will not work we're then going to close out of here from the left hand side come down to windows update and just press this check for updates button to ensure we are running the latest version of windows as sometimes new software can improve our performance and contain important bug fixes once you're fully up to date here we need to come over to the left in this search box and we're just going to search for manage cameras click on the manage cameras tab and if you're using roblox on the web version then this will definitely help fix your lag all you need to do here is just disable any cameras that you currently have enabled I don't have any cameras on my computer so I won't be able to show you this step but any cameras that are enabled here then just go ahead and disable them now and this will definitely help with your lag in the Roblox web version we're then going to close out of the settings window come over to the start menu and search for control panel click on the control panel icon and make sure view by is set to category at the top here come over to system and security inside of the system tab and down in related links we just need to select advanced system settings for performance come into settings and you have two options inside of here you can either just select adjust for best performance or you can come over to custom like I have here and just change your settings to like I have displayed on the screen, which is basically all of these boxes you wanna leave unchecked, apart from animations in the taskbar, enable peak, show thumbnails instead of icons and smooth edges of screen fonts. Everything else in here, you can just leave disabled and then press apply and okay. We're then gonna close out of here and come back over to our control panel. I'm just gonna press the back icon and this time we're going to select view by to large icons come over to power options and inside of your plan settings you want to make sure that high performance plan is selected from here close out of this window next come over to the start menu and search for run click on the run icon and type in the word temp and hit enter and these are all of the temporary files that are currently stored on our computer so we're just going to go ahead and delete all of these by pressing ctrl a to select everything right click and select the trash icon and if you get this message pop up we can just select do this for all current items and press try again if there are a couple of folders or files in here here that can't be deleted that's absolutely fine as long as we've got rid of the majority close out of this folder come back over to the start menu and search for run click on the run icon and this time search for percentage sign temp percentage sign and hit enter and once again we're just going to select everything inside of here right click and select the trash icon to delete it click do this for all current items and press continue and once you've cleared out this folder what we're going to do is close out of here come over to your recycle bin and just empty out the recycle bin then another thing we can do to improve our performance and decrease the lag is come over to the start menu and search for task manager click on the task manager window and what we need to do inside of here is just close down any background applications that we're not currently using you can even order this by which ones are using the most amount of cpu just by clicking cpu at the top here and anything that you don't currently need running just right click on the process and select end task just obviously make sure to know what you're closing down then from the left hand side come over to startup apps and what i'd recommend doing inside of here is just disabling any applications that we don't need starting up when we first turn on our computer so as you can see most of my applications are already disabled here we can see in the status column and to to disable an application from startup all we need to do is right click on the application and come into 
disable. You'll just need to go through this list and disable as many applications as you can. And then we're gonna close out of this window. And the very last thing we're going to do, which makes the most difference, is we're gonna head over to the Roblox application. You'll need to head into a game and press the escape key. Come over to the settings tab at the top here. For FPS, for low end computers, I'd recommend setting this to 60. If you have a higher performance computer, you can try increasing this to around 144 FPS. Then scroll down to the graphics section and we're gonna change the graphics mode to manual. And what we're gonna do here is just try reducing some of the graphics quality. Obviously by selecting one bar, this is going to give you the best performance, but it does mean that you'll have lower quality graphics in the game. So I'd recommend starting at about three and then going from there. Another thing you can do is make sure full screen mode is set to on. This is also going to help with performance and lag. And then we can just save our changes by coming out of this window. And it's as simple as that guys. That's how you improve your performance and any lagging issues inside of Roblox. If you did find this video useful, then please consider dropping the like and subscribing. Until next time.